Hello everybody, 2017 Volvo S90 is in today's video. XC90, this S90 and the most recent V90, the station wagon, are three major releases uh, from Volvo. And uh, this S90 originally was due to appear before XC90. They still share the same uh, architecture, powertrains, electronics, interface and design ideas, but S90 goes a bit further in the areas of uh, autonomous driving, collision avoidance, and uh, it made more sense to release it after XC90 in this lineup. It still replaces the uh, S80 as the main uh, sedan. And now, just a few days ago, it's uh, been joined by all new V90, the station wagon version. And if compared to S80, this uh, new S90 is an inch wider and just over four inches longer than the previous generation. And there will be an, uh, the longer wheelbase uh, version available. Uh, of course, starting with the Chinese market where these type of vehicles are very uh, popular. XC90, S90, V90 will have four-cylinder engines only, as Volvo announced, and the XC90 and S90 upper powertrains are all-wheel drive plug-in hybrids, uh, which uh, Volvo calls T8 twin engine. It's uh, three. It has uh, three modes. Uh, First is EV, available to drive at speeds up to 75 miles an hour. Then hybrid, switching uh, among gas and electric power or its combination. And there is also a power mode. Uh, it's a gas engine and electric power combined that produces 400 horsepower and 472 pound-feet of torque. S90 will utilize turbocharged and supercharged 2-liter engine. It is T6 version uh, that is paired with 8-speed uh, automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. Uh, this engine produces 316 horsepower and uh, 295 pound-feet of torque. It also will be available in T5 uh, version. Uh, it is turbo only, uh, the same 2-liter engine with front-wheel drive and uh, the same 8-speed automatic transmission. Air suspension will be also available, but only for rear-wheel axle, not like on uh, XC90, where it is uh, on the uh, front and the back. Uh, there are also additional cool features, like a pilot assist system that is upgraded here, and it, now it's included as standard. Function on the top of the adaptive cruise control and it can steer the car at the speeds up to 80 miles an hour and it can guide the car uh, with those uh, markings on the road without having to lock on the car ahead. Uh, then there is a CD safety system that works on low speeds uh, to prevent forward collision and uh, autonomous braking also comes standard vertical touchscreen uh, very similar to Tesla uh, the same exactly as on uh, XC90. Very sharp graphics, uh, very nice logical operation and interface that it's very easy to get used to. The instrument gauge cluster is a uh, TFT full screen display and also will feature uh, both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, new design, very uh, concept-like, still looks like a concept, even uh, though it is already a production vehicle. There is also the uh, dual zone interface for the back passenger, so you can adjust the speed of the fan as well as the temperature. And you can notice the power outlet here. It is a 220 EVP power outlet on this uh, 
display model but obviously there will be a change for the North American customers uh, collapsible elbow support with this little tray in front and there's also a little opening to uh, transport longer items like skis or fishing poles or whatever else you can imagine going back to the interior look uh, very impressive designer ideas uh, it's still hard to believe that it's uh, uh, production vehicle still looks like a concept uh, feels like concept and as for the price it is not available yet but uh, there is projection that will be uh, starting uh, at uh, forty four thousand dollars for the base models and uh, dealers are going to start the pre-orders uh, early summer of 2016 and uh, that's all i have for this 2017 volvo s90 i hope you enjoyed this video check out my channel for my other videos subscribe share and like it if you like it but for now thanks for watching and see you in the next one